The Prison by Bernard Malamud. This is an IGCSE English Literature review video. A summary to start us off. Tommy Costelli's prison is his existence. He is married to a woman he does not love and runs a candy shop that he hates. He's had brushes with the law. Even now, he tries to make money on the side by having a slot machine that is illegal. One day, he catches a little girl stealing chocolates. She reminds him of his childhood when he too dabbled in petty crime, small crime. He wants to help the girl, but isn't sure how to. Before he can do anything, she is caught by his wife. He tries to help her now, but she is rude to him. That was a short summary and now an extended summary of the story. For Tommy Costelli, his life is a prison. He is married to Rosa, whom he does not love. He manages a candy shop, one that he doesn't even own. Rosa's father owns it, and it was set up by Rosa's father. He hates doing the same work day after day after day. He has nothing to look forward to in his life. He toys with the idea of running away, but knows he cannot go far as he does not have much money. He's trapped. Rosa controls his life tightly and nags him when he steps out of line, like when he takes too long a break in the afternoons. His life was not always like this though. He had wanted to escape the poor locality where he lived, but he went about it the wrong way. He joined a gang of boys, impressed by the money that they flashed about. Their attempt when he was younger to hold up a liquor store goes wrong, and Tommy just about escapes going to prison. His father arranges his marriage with Rosa, as her father offers to provide the money for a candy shop. The idea does not appeal to Tommy, so he runs away to Mexico for a while. But he comes back and becomes locked into a loveless marriage and a boring job managing the candy shop. One day he catches a young girl cleverly stealing chocolates from the shop. He is reminded of his childhood days when he too was exposed to petty crime by his uncle Dom, who is now in prison. He wants to help the girls stop stealing, but he does not know how to. He wonders whether he should speak to her, but he lacks the courage for that. He keeps looking for excuses not to talk to her. In the end, he decides to leave a note for her in the chocolate case the next Monday, which is the day she always comes to the shop. But the following Monday, she does not appear in the morning when she normally does. Disappointed, he goes for his afternoon nap. When he comes down later, he hears Rose's screeching voice. She has caught the girl stealing. Rosa is harsh with the girl. So Tommy slaps Rosa, which shocks her. Hearing the commotion, the girl's mother comes in. Tommy wants to save the young girl more punishment, so he says that he let her have the chocolates. The girl tries to escape her mother's anger by saying that one chocolate of the two that she stole was meant for her, the mother. However, the mother threatens to punish her anyway for stealing. When she is dragged away by the mother, the little girl rudely sticks out her tongue at Tommy. A little bit about the author Bernard Malamud. He was a prolific writer in the 1950s and 60s. He wrote many novels and short stories. Often at the center of his, of his stories, there was a hero, invariably a young man whose life is fraught by failed relationships, unfulfilled dreams and undeveloped emotions. We can see all of these 
characteristics in Tommy, the protagonist. The young hero in Malamud's stories often has to get over many obstacles to reach maturity. And right at that point, the story ends. The structure of the story. It's a non-chronological plot, which is also known as a non-linear -lin plot. This means that the order of, order of events are rearranged. Particularly in this story, the prison, we have lots of flashbacks with Tommy looking back at his childhood, remembering specific events, remembering the area where he grew up in the tenements, remembering his uncle Dom, remembering when he got into the, when he started hanging out with the gang of boys, when he ran away, etc. Why does Malamud do this? Possibly to show Tommy's fragile state of mind. With all of these flashbacks, it is not a flowing chronological story, which might symbolize Tommy's fragile state of mind. Also, because the past was good for Tommy when he was known as Tony. Certainly, it was better than his present. So it's like he's looking back fondly. He's also maybe not looking back fondly. Maybe he's looking back, seeing where the mistakes he made and how these mistakes have brought him to where he is now in his life. It might be useful for you to, to draw a timeline of the events in chronological order. So trying to work out what happened first, and it's been done for you here. He was brought up in a tenement crowded kid squawking neighborhood. And what happens after that? His uncle Dom, and then after that, and then after that, he meets Rosa, runs away, comes back and marries her, etc etc. All the way to the final event when the girl sticks out at Tommy her red tongue and runs out of the shop. This might be useful for you to have an understanding of the chronological order of the story. The characters in the prism. Tommy Costelli is the protagonist. The reader gets to know Tommy Costelli quite well. His is the only character which is fully developed by Malamud in this short story. The other characters are what we call flat characters, whereas Tommy Costelli is round. He, Malamud builds him up, he develops him. We feel, the reader feels closer to him. Tommy's a decent guy, in spite of his difficult early days when he was known as Tony. When he met Rosa, she decided that she was going to change his name to Tommy. This shows who has the power in this relationship. Tommy escapes being caught by the law, but he effectively loses his freedom when he marries Rosa, a match that his father arranges to keep him on the right side of the law. Life in the small town with no escape in sight jars. So he twice plans to make a little money on the side, but both ventures are failures. Yet another failure in Tommy's life. It's when he's thoroughly bored with his life that he catches the little girl stealing chocolate from the counter. He is confused about what to do but she is so young he has this strong urge to help her break out of it, to break out of this petty stealing. He remembers his childhood when he would go out with his uncle Dom, who was adept at cheating, very good at cheating. But uncle Dom is now in prison for his crimes. Before Tommy can carry out his plan to warn the little girl, she is caught by Rosa, who thrashes her, hits her. 
Rose's fury angers Tommy and he slaps her. Tommy tries to save the girl from Rose's fury by saying he had let her have the candy. However, the girl is hardly thankful. In, in fact, she sticks her tongue out at him in disdain. An essay question you might like to think about. In the prison, Tommy is a pathetic character whose feelings are trapped. How far would you sympathise with him? And why or why not? And here are some ideas for how you could answer this question. His feelings are trapped. He's desperately bored with life. He never had any kind of future. So was there any hope for him ever? He lacks control of his life. His father made him marry. Rosa now controls his life. And his father-in-law owns the candy store where he works. He doesn't have money. He doesn't have control in his life. And he's in an unhappy marriage with Rosa. Rosa. We get to know about Rosa only through Tommy's thoughts, which are hardly complimentary to her. So this is not a reliable version of Rosa that we see. Rosa has a waspish tongue and a worse temper. She nags him when he does things that she does not approve of. However, to her credit, it must be said that she does not like him flirting with the law. So, she protects him from himself. When Rosa is angry, she screeches. She screeches at him so loudly when he brings in the slot machine that her father attacks it with a plumber's hammer. When she catches the little girl stealing chocolate, she flies off the handle. She gets angry very quickly, provoking Tommy to slap her. This shocks her as Tommy has meekly taken her tantrums till now. He's finally taken control of his life. Not in the best way, of course but it's his way of taking control. The little girl who is the antagonist. From the story, it does not seem like she's a first time thief. She times her moves well. And as Tommy goes inside the back room to fetch the tissue paper, she dips her hand into the chocolate case and steals two chocolates. When Rosa catches her stealing, she hits her. When her mother comes in after hearing the commotion, the girl tries to wriggle out of the mess by claiming that one chocolate was for the mother, as though that exonerates her, as though that stops her from being to blame. Tommy tries to help her escape punishment by declaring that he had let her have the chocolates, but the girl is not grateful. While leaving with her mother, she rudely sticks her tongue out at him. Some language techniques in the prison will be looked at in the next video.